Did you know that dogs have their own language and it's not just barking? Yes, you heard it right. Our four-legged companions communicate with us in a myriad of ways, often without uttering a single woof. They express their thoughts and emotions through their body language, vocalizations, and actions. Understanding these subtle cues is crucial to fostering a strong, healthy bond with our furry friends. Just like humans, dogs have unique physical and emotional needs. They rely on us, their human companions, to meet these needs and provide a safe, nurturing environment. It's not always about the squeaky toys and belly rubs. It's about understanding what makes them comfortable and what doesn't, giving them the mental stimulation they crave and maintaining consistency in their training. But here's the catch. Dogs can't just tell us what they need or want. We have to learn to interpret their secret language, and that's where things can get tricky. It's all too easy to misinterpret a wagging tail or a playful growl. But don't worry, we're here to help you decode these canine conundrums. So let's dive into exploring 13 things you should avoid doing with your furry friend. You might love to hug your dog, but does your dog love it too? Now, I know what you're thinking. A warm, tight hug is a universal sign of affection, right? Well, not exactly, especially when it comes to our canine friends. You see, in the dog world, putting your arms around another dog's body is often perceived as a sign of dominance, not affection. Imagine being hugged by a giant, with arms so strong you can hardly move. Sounds intimidating, doesn't it? That's exactly how your dog might feel when you wrap your arms around them. In some cases, this can lead to anxiety or even discomfort. Dogs are not naturally inclined to hug as humans are. They are more used to expressing their feelings through other means like wagging their tails, licking, or nuzzling. Now, of course, there are exceptions. Some dogs may tolerate and even enjoy hugs, especially if they've been socialized to understand them since they were puppies. However, this is not the norm, and it's crucial to watch your dog's body language closely. If you see signs of discomfort, such as stiffening, looking away, or trying to squirm out of your grip, it's time to let go. So, what's the alternative? How can you show your dog that you love them without causing them stress? Here's a simple answer. Try a good, old-fashioned belly rub. Dogs love belly rubs, and they also love ear scratches, gentle petting, or simply spending quality time with you. These actions speak louder than a hug ever could in dog language, and they will help you build a stronger bond with your furry friend. So next time, instead of a hug, try showing affection in ways your dog understands and appreciates like a good belly rub. When was the last time you checked your dog's nails? It's an easily overlooked aspect of pet care, but crucial nonetheless. You see, our furry friend's nails aren't just for show. They have a purpose, and when they're too long, it can cause a world of discomfort. Imagine wearing a pair of shoes that are too tight all day every day. Not very pleasant, right? That's how dogs feel when their nails are left unclipped. It can lead to an awkward gait, and over time, even joint damage. Yes, your dog's nails can have a significant impact on their overall health, and it's not just about the physical discomfort. Long nails clicking on the floor can be a source of stress for some dogs, so keeping those nails trimmed can mean a happier, more relaxed pup. But remember, nail trimming should be done carefully to avoid cutting into the quick, which can be painful and cause bleeding. If you're unsure about doing it yourself, seek professional help. Remember, nail care is not just about aesthetics, it's about your dog's comfort and health. So make nail checks a regular part of your pet care routine. Your dog will thank you. Summer days are fun, but hot surfaces can be a real bummer for your dog. Imagine walking barefoot on a sun-baked sidewalk. Not so pleasant, right? Well, that's what it feels like for our four-legged friends when they have to walk on hot surfaces like asphalt during the summer months. Their paws, though tougher than our feet, are still sensitive and can get burned. Now, how can we protect our dogs from this discomfort? Well, one way is to test the pavement before you head out for a walk. Place the back of your hand on the ground and if it's too hot for you, it's too hot for your dog. You can also opt for walks early in the morning or late in the evening when the ground is cooler. Another tip is to invest in some doggy booties. They might look silly, but they provide a protective barrier between those precious paws and the scorching ground. And remember, if it's extremely hot outside, it's always best to stay indoors where it's cool. So keep those paws cool and your dog will thank you. Are you consistent with your dog's training? Now this is a question that every dog owner needs to ask themselves. Consistency is indeed the linchpin of effective dog training. Imagine you're learning a new language. One day, your teacher tells you that hello means goodbye. The next day, they tell you it's the other way around. You'd be pretty confused, right? 
That's how your dog feels when you send mixed signals. Dogs are creatures of habit. They thrive on routine and consistent rules. When we change the rules on them, we're essentially throwing them into a world of confusion. Let's say, for example, you've trained your dog not to jump on the couch, but then, one lazy Sunday, you invite them up for a cuddle. To your dog, this mixed signal can be quite perplexing. It may lead them to think that jumping on the couch is allowed sometimes, but not always, and that's when you start to see inconsistent behavior. Consistency in training also applies to commands. If sit means sit one day and lie down the next, it's going to be difficult for your dog to understand what you want. Remember, dogs don't speak our language. They rely on consistent signals from us to understand our expectations. It's not just about you being consistent though, everyone in your household needs to be on board. If one person allows the dog to do something that another person doesn't, it can lead to confusion and inconsistent behavior. It's a team effort. Everyone has to play their part. But consistency doesn't mean rigidity. It's okay to change a rule or a command if it's not working. The key is to make that change clear and consistent across all interactions. And remember, consistency is more than just repeating the same commands over and over. It's about being consistent in your tone of voice, your body language, and even the time of day you train. All these elements work together to create a predictable, stable environment where your dog can learn and thrive. Consistency is key. Remember, your dog is learning from you every day. These 13 tips are just the tip of the iceberg in understanding your dog's needs. To recap, we've learned that our furry friends have a unique language all their own, which we can learn to interpret for a stronger bond. We've debunked the common misconception that all dogs love hugs, instead encouraging you to respect their personal space. We've highlighted the importance of nail care, often overlooked but vital to a dog's comfort and health. We've warned against exposing dogs to hot surfaces which can cause them discomfort or even injury. And, we've emphasized the crucial role of consistency in training, fostering trust and understanding. Each of these points is a step towards better understanding and meeting the needs of our canine companions. Applying these tips can help you improve your relationship with your dog, making sure they're not just physically healthy, but emotionally content as well. Remember to respect their boundaries, provide mental stimulation, and be alert for signs of anxiety or discomfort. And this is just the beginning. There's so much more to learn about our four-legged friends. Every dog is unique, with their own preferences, quirks, and ways of expressing themselves. That's part of what makes them such wonderful companions. And as we grow in understanding, we can make their lives happier and more fulfilling. For more insightful tips about understanding and caring for your furry friend, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The more we know, the better we can care for them, and the stronger our bond with them can become. So let's keep learning together. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll explore more amazing facts about our four-legged friends. Until then, keep those tails wagging!